I'm Andrew Holland. I'm CEO of the Fusion Industry Association. We are the leading voice of the private fusion energy industry. We have 43 members located around the world and nearly 100 affiliate members, all of whom are working to commercialize fusion energy at a speed that is relevant to the challenges that we face on energy. So every year, the FIA puts out a report on the state of the fusion energy industry. We do this by asking all of the fusion energy companies around the world certain questions. So when we first put out this report in 2021, we found that there were 23 fusion companies around the world and about $1.9 billion invested into them. Now, fast forward to the fifth report that we've put out, and we are now up to $9.75 billion, nearly $10 billion in private investment, and 53 companies around the world working on this at speed. Of the 53 companies around the world, you can see certain geographic locations. The United States is the leading country for the private fusion industry with 29 companies based in the US. We broke it down even state by state and we saw that there's 10 companies based in California and leading hubs in places like Washington State, Wisconsin, and Colorado as well. It's really interesting to see these hubs emerge. Around the world, we also see such hubs in the UK, continental Europe, Japan, and China are emerging. The key question that everybody in fusion gets is when. When do you expect to see fusion energy on the grid? When are you gonna commercialize it? When we ask, when do you expect to see fusion energy on the grid? Overwhelmingly, the response is the 2030s or before, with most companies saying the first half of the 2030s. And it's notable that those timelines have stayed the same. As companies have, have moved forward, raised money, built their uh, proof of concept experiments, they are not pushing back their long-term goal, their long-term timeline. They are actually setting goals and achieving them. One of the key things that the FIA was set up to do was to help build the public-private partnerships that will enable private companies to work with government programs around the world. So we're always tracking where this is going and, and where the investment from governments into private companies is. And so you can see this year, $800 million has gone into private companies. Now that's a significant increase from last year. What's notable though is still that the on a percentage basis, it's still quite low. Governments are not stepping up and investing as much into the private fusion industry as private sector investors are. So we still expect, expect to see significant growth even over the coming years into new public-private partnerships. As the fusion industry moves towards commercialization, we are seeing a pretty rapid increase in the number of people working for the fusion energy industry. Since we first started asking in 2021, we've seen the total number of people working in the fusion industry more than quadruple, so that there's now 4,600 people working directly for fusion companies. And then the jobs in the supply chain are more than triple that. So there's a, a really significant job base that is developing to support the fusion energy industry. But not all is rosy. The truth is fusion is hard, fusion is hard, fusion is hard. And that means it's capital intensive. So we asked our companies, how much more are you going to have to raise to commercialize fusion? And the answers varied widely, but the median number was about $700 million more to bring their technology to commercialization. What I think is most exciting about this report is that we are seeing a real maturing of the industry. And by that I mean, we're not just seeing long-term deep tech California investors. We're starting up to also see sovereign wealth funds, strategic investors, and even more of the, the sort of classic Wall Street or City of London type investors come in. And that means 
that people are seeing Fusion as a lower risk investment, something that becomes closer to an infrastructure investment. There is an understanding, I think, that people know that Fusion is becoming inevitable. Fusion is the thing that will really solve a lot of energy challenges and investors are coming to understand that. Governments are coming to understand that and drive even further public-private partnerships and direct investments into the companies. So it is really an exciting time. We have to capitalize on this momentum and drive further towards commercializing fusion energy.